टफ टाइम्स डोंट लास्ट बट टफ पीपल डू नमस्कार फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू नेक्स्ट आई एस आई होप यू आर डूइंग वेल इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस इम्पोर्टेंट स्पीशीज जो कि अभी रिसेंटली न्यूज में थी एंड दे आर आल्सो रेलेवेंट फॉर यूपीएससी सो विदाउट वेस्टिंग एनी टाइम लेट स्टार्ट टू डिस्कशन विद जेब्रा फिश It was in the news because recently scientists of Agarkar Research Institute revealed that protein found in the backbone of zebra fish can have potential therapeutic implications for degenerated human disc right now let's know about zebra fish so friends it is a small freshwater fish belonging to the member of the minnow family of fish and its scientific name is Danio rerio and it is omnivorous primarily eating zooplankton phytoplankton insects and insects larvae It is classified as least concerned species by the International Union for Conservation of Nature. Now let's look at the habitat of zebra fish. It typically inhabit moderately flowing to a stagnant clear water of quite shallow depth in streams, canals, ditches, oxbow lakes, ponds and rice fields. And it is found in tropical and subtropical region and it is native to South Asia. where it is found in india pakistan bangladesh nepal and bhutan now let's know the significance of zebra fish in clinical research it is an important and widely used vertebrate model organism in scientific research for example in drug development in particular preclinical development and it is also notable for its regenerative abilities and has been modified by researchers to produce many transgenic strains and do you know friends it has similar genetic structure around 70% to humans right this is the image of zebra fish you can see here it has dark blue and silvery longitudinal stripes now let's learn about new dwarf boa species recently a new species of dwarf boa has been discovered in ecuadorian amazon and its name honors ecuadorian indigenous activist This is the image of new species of dwarf boa as you can see here its coloring is primarily light brown with darker brown or black blotches similar to boa constrictor right now let's know more about dwarf boa it is known as tropidophis kekuwangai and it is a snake from the tropidophidae family and its name honors dolores kekuwango an early 20th century pioneer in the fight for indigenous and farmers right in ecuador and friends it is found in the cloud forest in northeastern ecuador and was up to 20 cm long and it can be identified from other reptiles in the same genus based on its external features and bone structure and friends scientists found two verified specimens of species this point we have already discussed now let's look at its habitat it inhabits eastern tropical piedmont and lower evergreen montane forest in the amazon tropical rainforest biome and researchers suspected to be an ecuadorian endemic and friends one more thing species is unusual for having a vestigial pelvis which is characteristic of primitive snakes and this could be evidence that snakes descended from lizards that lost their limbs over millions of years this point we have already discussed now what is the significance of this discovery so friends its discovery demonstrate that small and cryptic vertebrates can undergo large period of time without being detected now let's learn about nilgiri tahar so friends recently tamil nadu government launched the initiative for conservation of nilgiri tahar and under the project the government plans to develop a better understanding of the nilgiri tahar population through surveys and radio telemetry studies and the project is to be implemented from 2022 to 2027 and one more thing friends october 7 will be celebrated as nilgiri tahar day right this is the image of nilgiri tahar Now let's look at the historical linkages of Nilgiri Tahar. So friends there are multiple references to the Nilgiri Tahar in Tamil Sangam literature dating back to 2000 years and the late Mesolithic paintings between 10000 to 4000 BC highlights the significance of Tahar in folklore culture and life. And do you know friends in recognition of its ecological and cultural significance it was designated as the state animal of Tamil Nadu. Now let's know more about Nilgiri Tahar. So friends it is locally known as Varai Adu and it is classified as endangered species by the International Union for Conservation of Nature and it has been included in the schedule 1 of the Indian Wildlife Protection Act 1972 right? Now let's look at its habitat and distribution. So friends it inhabits meadows with steep cliffs at elevations between 300 meters and 2600 meter above the sea level. 
and historically it was known to inhabit a large portion of western ghats but today it remains restricted to a few scattered patches in tamil nadu and kerala and it has become locally extinct in around 14% of its traditional shola forest grassland habitat now let's look at the total numbers of nilgiri tahars so friends there are 3122 nilgiri tahars in the wild right In the last let's know about white tufted royal butterfly it was in the news because recently researchers have found white tufted royal butterfly at kannur in the state of kerala and one more thing friends recently a himalayan butterfly known as golden budwing has been discovered as india's largest butterfly after 88 years stick now let's know more about white tufted royal butterfly so friends it is protected under schedule 2 of the wildlife protection act 1972 and the species had been spotted in agasthakudam in 2017 and shindurni wildlife sanctuary in 2018 and butterfly is just 32 to 40 mm and its larvae feed on scarula parasitica which is a plant belonging to the lorenthaceae family and friends it is a rare butterfly species and the survival of such rare species is under severe threat and the steps should be taken to protect them right and this is the image of white tufted royal butterfly now let's learn some key facts about butterflies so friends they are insects from the order lepidoptera which also includes moths they are flying insects with large scaly wings and they have six jointed legs three body parts which includes head thorax and the abdomen like other insects and do you know friends adult butterflies have large often brightly colored wings and conspicuous fluttering flight right let's look at the significance of butterflies so friends they are central pollinators to many agricultural crops and additionally their ecological function is also a food source to predators like birds spiders lizards and other animals and they also act as a indicator species providing information on overall condition of the ecosystem and of other species in that ecosystem and one more thing friends butterflies are thought to be symbol of grace and beauty and their bright colored wings make them favorite for all ages right so friends with this let's conclude our today's discussion thanks for listening be happy be nice